So objective today is to look at percents and how they're compared to ratios and decimals. I want you to pause the video and answer this question first. Define percent. Use words and how you usually write a percent. Go ahead and pause it and answer this question in this space right here. Okay, now we're going to answer the following questions together by completing this table. It's a review of how to convert between ratios or fractions, percents, and decimals. So this one here is A, this one is situation B, and this is situation C. Haley's coach has told her she made one-third of her basket attempts in practice. What was her shooting percentage? Well, to turn a decimal, or a fraction, into a decimal and into a percent, we're going to use our calculators. <clears throat> you start by using the fraction or the ratio as a division problem, and you always read them from top to bottom. So one divided by three. And into your calculator, you enter one divided by three. That's going to give us our decimal. Notice it's 0.3333 to repeat. We can come over here and write it as our decimal. I like to write them to two places and show that it's a repeat by putting that line over the top. We can come back to our calculator to do the percent because a percent is out of 100. So if I multiply this by 100, it's going to give me my percent is 33.3 and you can use that repeat line again, percent. If we were rounding this, it would just stay at 33%, but this is the more precise number. Situation B, Haley earned 72% on a quiz. What is the ratio of her points to total, to total points? Well, her ratio of points is 72 out of 100. If it's 72%, that means it's 72 out of 100. We can reduce this. They're both even numbers, so we can again use our calculator and divide both by 2. 72 divided by 2 is 36. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Those are still even. It looks like I can divide again. I'm going to try dividing by 2 again. I get 36 divided by 2 is 18. 50 divided by 2 is 25. All three of these fractions show her percent as a fraction. They're all equivalent fractions. How do we write this as a decimal? Well, it's pretty simple. We've got 72%. That's 72 out of 100. I can do a couple of things. I can take any of these fractions and I can divide them. 18 divided by 25 gives me 0 0.72. And here's the way I want you to think about it. If this is a whole number 72 out of 100, my decimal is going to move two places over to go to here. And that's how I get 72% from the percent itself. Now this one's a little bit more confusing. Her parents recently sold a house for 1.25 times what they paid for it. What percent of the price they paid does this represent? Well, I, if I look at this decimal, 72 hundredths is written as 72 over 100. 0.33 going on and on is also equivalent to 33 over 100. So for writing my ratio, I can come over here and just simply write this as any, something over 100. This one happens to be over 100%, so it's going to be 125. How would I then take 125 divided by 100 times 100. Oops, and I didn't do times 100. Let me try that again. 1 in 25 divided by 100. That's giving me back to my decimal. So I could take from my decimal and multiply times 100, and it's going to give me my percent. 125%. So if you think of, I actually did this backwards up here, this would go this direction. 
to show that it is 0.72. If we're coming from the, the percent to the decimal, we would go this direction, but if we're going from the decimal to percent, we would go the opposite direction. So it's like this. Okay?